Hello, and welcome to another episode of Drawing on Fridays, the Landon Huber Experience. Um, in these episodes, I draw a picture from a blank page to a pretty uh, rough but completed uh, idea of a drawing. And uh, these drawings will be um, available in their finished form later on my Etsy store. LandonHuberArt.etsy.com. So, without any further ado, let's get the show started. The first thing I do is um, set the timer. Set timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes starting now. And let's begin. Okay, so today what I'm going to be drawing is going to be a mummy. So, I want to have a a really spooky mummy kind of coming out at you um, with the moon behind and just I want to evoke this sense that you that he just maybe popped up out of a field somewhere and is and is right there at dusk and uh, is a, a spooky image to behold so let's get going so first things first Let's establish where the general vicinity of his head will be. Which I'm going to say is around there. Then I'm thinking I want to have like one shoulder kind of coming up. So he's kind of like doing that. And a long skinny kind of arm. Coming down. And then coming out at you a bit. Now his hand is going to be hmm, maybe slightly tricky to get right because I really want it to be looking like it's coming at you. But I don't want to obscure too much of his face there so I'll have to work that out. So how you guys doing? You guys having a good Friday so far? Let me know uh, in the comments what you guys are are feeling about these episodes. You know, I'm doing my best here to be entertaining but also to create some interesting art. I have this hand kind of coming down and then out these hand this hand kind of sticking out okay and then I have this foot kind of coming forward but you don't see the bottom because as I said he'll be in some kind of a grassy or cornfield or something and then this back leg is going way back in the distance okay so let's keep going here Now, of course, the face is an uh, important element, but if I make that face way too big, then he is going to appear too big. So I want to not do that. I get his eyes low enough that they're, that they're menacing. But I want to get the, the shoulder right these lines are just giving me little indications because first because he's a mummy so he's going to have straps he's going to be long and bony but <laughs> this hand needs to come out a little bit more like over there 
and that will give me a little bit more room to create the correct shape in his foot here, his leg. So maybe it should come out like that. So it's like doing that. You see that? That overall shape. And then up here, behind him, will be the moon. And then maybe in the moon, I'll create some another sense of overall shapes that the cloud and sky will create. All right, so. Getting that, that first um, initial sketch to kind of feel right is sometimes the hardest thing. All right, let's work on this hand. So I want the hand to be coming out at you. So these planes would not be, you wouldn't see much of the, the parts that are going back. You'd only see the, mostly the part of the fingers that are coming out. Something like that. And then a mummy. One of the cool things about mummies is they all have a lot of straps, but to make the straps appear that they're wrapping around his body in the correct way, you have to get the, the shape right. So, I want him to be spooky. Alright, let's start working on the face. Hardest part. Always the hardest freaking part. The face. I think I'm going to have him be a really spooky mummy. Have this straps kind of coming out this way and that way. It's funny, my wife is really interested in, in mummies. She wants to go to Egypt so she can see the mummies. And a place I've wanted to go a long time is... Um, I wanted to go to Europe to see the art. Because to me that would be more interesting. But to her it would be more interesting to go see some some corpses <laughs> in Egypt. Um, this is kind of funny. I'm just like, really? That's that's what you want to do? Go see the mummies? Like, yeah, I want to go see the mummy. All right. <laughs> so maybe one day we'll get to go do that. That would be fun. All right. Hmm. 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 Ha. So what I'm thinking is I l I'm liking it, but I want to see a little bit more of his rotted like teeth back here, and I might not be able to see that much of them. But if I can see enough to get the feeling of his mouth kind of open back there. And I think we might have something that's working here. Maybe um, have some of these bandages kind of blowing out in the wind here. And we'll start to solidify some of these shapes a little bit. Get some heavy black areas going in here. My trusty old graphite. Start blocking those in. Right now, I'm squinting. 
So why am I lifting up there is because I want the little bits uh, where the bandages are wrapped folding over. And those little bits would have little little hits of light on them. Make it more seeable and more interesting. in that you can see I'm going around those forms but in here I'm going to create some heavy shadow even in there some more shadow and they're up there maybe not so much but still indicate some bandages over there and then We'll start working on this leg here. Start blocking in the shadow in here. Maybe that leg would be almost totally in shadow. But then right here, the leg's coming out of the shadow. And some more bandages right here. Do you guys ever watch the, I'm sure many of you have, watched the old original Universal Monster movies? And of course I, like a lot of people, really do love those. And uh, I love them all, you know, and they're all, it's all awesome that they exist, but I have to say, just as far as like, um, a, a, a critique, I guess I would say, is that as a film, you know, looking on it objectively, I didn't feel the mummy film uh, worked as, as well as some of the others. The Bela Lugosi Dracula film I thought was great in the first uh, the first half of the film was great oh my battery died all right let's pause the show all right we're back in action and I have to say this is okay but I kind of want to see more of the face over here and so I'm thinking the hand has to be moved over a bit this way now watch this I'm gonna repurpose some of these fingers maybe maybe not because I want that I want this hand this side of the face to be more exposed so the hand shouldn't come really past around this part It's always good when you're trying to draw in a very short amount of time and then you stop midway through and completely redraw the whole picture. That's really good. But in this case I just feel strongly it's necessary. So, I'm going to do it. Maybe some of these fingers are just... I mean, he is a mummy after all, you know. Mummies don't always have the best... solid bone structures and things because they're basically rotting corpses so I'm 
Now, I just wanted to do that because I really did feel I wanted to see this this side of him more. Pull that arm out a little bit more over here. Sometimes when I'm working on this stuff too, I'm 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 finding it. I'm I'm using the clay and I'm just moving the clay around, you know. Now right there, I kind of like that finger. However, it is obscuring quite a bit of that mouth. So I might just take that out as well move it back even more. Oh my goodness. Oh. This finger is going to have to, some of these fingers are just going to be obscured this one's going to have to come out to around there like that and these other ones are going to have to kind of be going behind and that is just the only way that's going to work right there there we go finally something okay darken it behind it and give it some pop Pop goes the mummy. Okay, so going. Circular shapes indicate that is going back. I'm still messing with that stupid hand. Sometimes you, sometimes you'll sit there and mess with a, a, a just a hand or something or a face. until it just finally clicks. And it's not that I couldn't draw something that would just work. It's finding the thing that's gonna be just right, you know what I mean? That first, the first uh, picture I uh, you saw me uh, when I'm first putting this together would have worked but see now I just carved in his arm there but I kind of like that shape poke that shoulder out just a little bit then bring it out make this really coming out like that so his fingers are really almost look like they're moving sometimes if you study Frazetta's work sometimes he'll have limbs that just kind of go off like this and what that does is it creates movement in the piece you know and now I'm really trying to get this face right and Okay, and we have about 11 minutes left. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just what do you what do you say? We go a little longer than a half hour on this one, guys. What do you say? What do you say? Well. 
see what happens. So just indications right there of bandages. Bumpy things up there. Get some shadow on his face in here. Get more interesting. Are you feeling it, guys? You feeling the mummy? Okay. I mean, think about it like mummies, they're scary. But what, what do they really want from you? <laughs> you know? Their motivation. I guess their motivation really is just to keep living forever and so they'll do whatever they need to to come after you. That's the same motivation with a lot of a lot of these scary creatures and stories from folklore. See if we can get a little bit more of this background in here. So, a moon. And flying in the moon. Bats. Right here, though. That's a good one. It's going to be what I call. Skylines. Lines in the sky. More just to give the peace movement. Shading in some areas a little bit, squinting. To get the piece to appear a little bit more. I don't want his, this guy's head to be quite so. Hey, you guys. Mommy. Hey, you guys. get some indications of corn husks in here very quickly and kind of going with the the flow of the piece here and a little strap kind of a few little straps kind of crisscrossing or maybe one's falling over the shoulder there coming across and another one so I'm blowing in the wind. So uh, I'm going to take this moment. Um, we have about six more minutes left. I might go five minutes over this episode, guys. Come on, good. cut me a break. I mean, I had to redraw the hand. So... See, I'm turning the page like this so I can just, 
I still don't have the best trained hands in the world to where I can just throw down perfect lines. You know, sometimes I throw them and they're okay, and sometimes I throw them and they're not okay. So, but this, these lines, uh, the purpose for me is to create wind and movement, and maybe even a few little leaves kind of blowing over there should feel like autumn leaves as much as I can do I don't want to do get too crazy with the leaves just a few So, um, as I was saying, <laughs> I'll take a moment to promote my Etsy store where I have the final versions of these drawings over on LandonHuberArt.etsy.com. Head over there to find awesome Halloween t-shirts and art prints. So if you don't want a t-shirt, maybe you just want a cool poster, you got that. If you want a poster and a t-shirt, you got that. Or if you just want a t-shirt, you got that also. And the t-shirts are available in multiple sizes and colors. So, Halloween may come but once a year. But there ain't a rule to say you can't wear these cool t-shirts all year round. Leaves kind of and these are more background grasses and corn husks of some sort. And you know, um, before I get to the actual like uh, finish of this picture I would spend a bit more time on it and I wouldn't just just bang it out like this and then call it done put my sig right in there maybe right here Got to think about these things. The cig. It's how, like, uh, the British people say cigarettes. Yo, pass me a ciggy, alright? Just an accent. I'm not making fun of British people. I love British people. I think that's personally one of the cool things about being an actor is the ability to uh, act and be a character that in real life you are not that person. That's why it's called acting. And those that can do that very well, that is a skill, guys. That's a skill. Well, I got about a minute and a half left. And I was going to go longer. And I'm th and I am considering um kind of doing like seasons, so maybe after we get to around about 25 episodes I might um I might change the format and uh 
maybe season two will go to 45 minutes, you know. I'm still hoping to get some more feedback from you guys on what you think of of the format of these shows, you know. Hopefully, if you have the patience to sit here and watch all of this, are you going to have the patience? Would you prefer them to be longer? Because I've, I've heard different things from different people. Oh, they're too long. Talking about my uh, old art process videos, which you should check out on the art process videos of this YouTube channel, fully edited. But we are getting very close to the clock now and close to the end of the episode. So I am going to actually keep this episode pretty much at about a half hour. So you can see the the, the picture. I, I let me stop this clock. So I think it has turned out fairly close to how I was thinking. And uh, so what I would do then is continue working on it. But you got you got the mummy coming out at you. You got the the right vibe. You got originally his hand was covering a portion of the face which I thought obscured his face too much because I wanted to see more of his face. So I redrew the hand. We have a moon behind. We have the feeling of wind going through the piece. So it's all there. This leg is just in so it's such in motion it's just breaking up. It's not I don't feel it's necessary to totally draw that leg. Um, that would kind of kill the, the movement in, in the, that I'm going for there. But anyway, it has been a half hour. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like the video. Hope you'll subscribe, like, share. We'll see you in another video. Take it easy.